What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're tuning into this video. If you haven't had a chance yet to like and subscribe, go ahead and do it. You won't regret it. But I'm so excited. Today I thought we would do something a little bit different. As you can see, there's some boxes behind me and I thought it would be fun to do an unboxing video. I have no idea what's in these boxes. Some of it's stuff that I ordered, but most of it is stuff that was just sent to me, so I'm excited to see what's inside. And I thought I would also answer some questions off of the Q&A feature on Instagram. So, we're gonna be answering some questions, we're gonna be unboxing some boxes, it's gonna be a great time. So, let's get it. She's ready. Here are my boxes, and I don't know what's inside, but let's get to it. Okay guys, all right, I am ready to start unboxing I have my questions pulled up from Instagram I just said happy Monday guys ask me a question and you guys sent in a lot of good questions so let's get to it this first package is from Aritzia it's one of my absolute favorite places to shop okay Brandon asked what is your type so I actually just did a video with Janine, I think it was on her channel, but we answered the question of what each other's type was and she actually nailed it. Like she actually got my type. I'm pretty bad at opening boxes, so this might take a minute. <laughs> Basically she just said that I like a man who obviously loves Jesus with all of his heart and a guy who is very strong and confident and can make me laugh and that I can have fun with. And she said tall, athletic. Okay, I'm opening. It came in this cute little bag. Oh yeah. Okay, I ordered this like suit type jacket and I got matching pants. I don't actually typically wear like blazers or suits or anything like that, but when I speak, I really like to look more professional, but also, you know, I wanna look modest. And so I was looking for just some cute, modest clothes. <laughs> okay, this next one is from JD. I think it's the workout wear, which workout clothes are literally my favorite thing in the entire world. And I think they sent me some sets, which I'm super stoked about. I love sets, sets are my favorite. Okay, look, cute, cute workout top. We got some pants. Okay, someone asked, what's my favorite thing to do by myself? I actually really value time with myself. Like I love spending time with myself. Dude, these are a cool color. And so I would say probably like just having some good Jesus time, writing, just going on walks. I love going to the lake. There's a lake like five minutes from our house. So I'll go out there, read my Bible, have my quiet time. I'm a very big extrovert. So the rest I like doing with people. <laughs> okay, these are also super cute. These are like tie dye. Wow, these are all great. Oh my gosh, I think it has a matching, a matching shirt, which makes it even better. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at the back. I love this. I love their stuff. It's so comfortable. It literally feels like you're wearing nothing. Okay, cute little t-shirt. Oh, and a cute like matching shorts. Wait, those are so cute. I love that. Okay, let's get another question going. Brianna asked me, Brianna, Brianna, I don't really know, but she asked me, what's my favorite book of the Bible? This is a really hard question because I just love the Word of God. Okay, I would say my favorite book of the Bible in the Old Testament is Esther. And then the Psalms and Proverbs, love the Psalms and Proverbs. And then my favorite book in the New Testament is John because it's taking us through like the life of Jesus, which is doesn't get better than that. Also, I love Ephesians. It's just a really good book on identity and knowing who you are and knowing why you're here and finding your purpose and all the good stuff. Ooh, okay, a cute little cropped hoodie. Also, the material is like so stretchy. Feels so good. Oh my gosh, this material is incredible. Oh, fun. It's these like joggers, if you can see them. And it's like this tan nude color. The material is like a windbreaker material, which I actually really vibe with. And they also sent me some scrunchies. Oh my gosh, thanks J80, that was so fun. My favorite places to shop, I would probably say Aritzia, Lululemon, Nike for sure. Revolve, I would definitely say Revolve 
is probably where I get 99% of my like nice clothes, like dressier clothes. Aritzia I love for like some good lounge sets or just like some really nice tops, blouses, or like I showed you earlier, the blazer. They have really good blazer and pants. I order like things off of Amazon almost every single day. It's probably not good, but I just love Amazon. Okay, so let's go through the books that I just ordered. So I ordered Atomic Habits by James Clear. And I've just heard amazing things about this book. Never read it, don't know anything about it. I mean, I can kind of guess. It says an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. That sounds good. I love this. It is called The Talent Code by Daniel Coyle. It's called Greatness Isn't Born, It's Grown. Because I think a lot of times people want success, they want to achieve greatness, but they're not willing to grow, they're not willing to learn, they're not willing to go through the process. Then I love Simon Sinek. I hope I'm saying his name right, but he's he's such a genius. I've never read one of his books though, so I'm really excited about this one. This one is called Start With Why. How great leaders inspire everyone to take action. I love that, that sounds so good. I'm very excited about this book. I think the last book I got is called Think Big, Act Small. How America's best performing companies keep the startup spirit alive. So a lot of times I like to read leadership books, but I also like to read Christian books. So I kind of just go all over the place. All right. This next one is from, it's called Kukai. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's get another question in. So many people are asking me like if I'm dating anyone. Guys, you guys would be the first to know. Actually, I don't know that you guys would be the first to know. I don't know if you can really see this color. It's so pretty. It's like this sage color. But they're dress pants. I have these in white already and people always ask me where they're from. It's from this Australia brand that I love so much. Here is a really pretty like sage green top that kind of goes with the pants. So I'd probably wear this as a set. I'd probably wear this to speak or even just to like a nice dinner. And then also got some black pants. And then I got the same exact top in black. Someone asked, Elizabeth asked, where are the good men? Girl, I would love to know where are they at though? No, I'm just kidding. There's a lot of great guys. Just take some time sometimes to, to find the good ones. How old was I when I became a believer? I haven't shared my testimony with you guys and I should do a video where I just share my entire testimony of how I came to know the Lord and what my relationship with God was like from a young age versus how it is now because I, I get asked a lot like you know how do you find Jesus or what does your daily walk with the Lord look like or you know how old were you when you started making certain decisions and so I would love to talk about that so I'm gonna do that in a video I came to know the Lord when I mean honestly both of my parents love Jesus so coming out of the womb I grew up in the church I spent all my time going to Christian camps and you know doing all the things with the church okay this package is from Amazon and this I think I ordered. I think I saw on TikTok some like really cute, fun workout clothes and tops from Amazon for like really cheap. So I'm really excited to see what the material's like. Okay, I love this. This honestly looks like Lululemon, but it was only, well, I don't know if it has the price tag on here, but it was from Amazon. So I'm pretty sure it was only like $15 versus like $80 at Lulu. But this is so cute. The color is amazing. It's a really pretty like blue kind of greenish color. Amazon has some good stuff. You just gotta search, but they got some good clothes. You don't have to spend $60 on a workout top. I love fashion, I love clothes. I would say that shoes are probably my favorite. I actually don't have, I don't think I ordered any shoes. Sad day. But shoes are definitely my favorite. I love Jordans. Also love some off-whites, some Yeezys. Big sneakerhead. Okay, another package from Amazon. Oh, this is really cute and really nice. This is also from Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was like 20 bucks. And it's kind of like a cropped little, I don't know. Yeah, it's a jacket. What is my dream job? Honestly, I'm doing what I love. I love just interacting with people through social media. I love writing. I have been big into writing over the past like year or so. I actually do quite a bit of speaking and I might start linking my videos of where I speak and the links of like my full speaking videos to here so people can see them because people always ask like, how do I find like the links of where you're speaking? Okay, this package is from Simple Gospel. It is an awesome brand and I'm so excited to wear it. Okay, so this looks like, let's see. Oh, I think it's a set. I'm so excited. 
Also, I don't really wear pink often, but I am really vibing with this. Like, these are so cute. And I just love what it stands for, gospel. And we got the matching sweatshirt. It's such good material. I don't know if you guys have ever tried like Fear of God or Justin Bieber's like Drew brand, but it's kind of what it feels like. Okay, it says gospel in big letters, which I love. And then on the back it says, Jesus rose from the dead. I love this. I want to wear it like literally right now. I love this sweatshirt. It's so cozy. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? Another package from Amazon. Let's see. Oh, cute. Okay, it's like another little crop top in white. I love that. What are my hobbies? My hobbies, I love to TikTok. I love to write. I love to read. I love sports, like anything sports related. Anything with my friends. Another Amazon package. I love going on a boat. Oh my gosh, a boat ride. Literally my favorite thing in the entire world is stargazing and going on boat rides, especially when it's like sunset and it just feels so amazing. Oh, here's another book. This is da da da, another leadership book, who's surprised? Okay, so it's called Small Acts of Leadership, 12 Intentional Behaviors That Lead to a Big Impact. I haven't heard anything about this, but it just sounded really good. Ooh. Okay, let's see, what's in this? This is from, oh, this is from Maverick City Music. I don't know if you guys have ever listened to Maverick City Music, but it's literally my favorite. They're just so good. They're also like going on tour, and I really wanna go listen to them on tour. Who wants to go? You guys wanna join me? Favorite book, Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. Oh my gosh, it's so good, it's so good. And I heard that they're actually making Redeeming Love, they're turning it into a movie, and if that is actually true, I will, I will cry. I will actually cry. Oh, I love this. Old Church Basement, Elevation Worship, Maverick City. Okay, this one I accidentally already opened, but it's some more workout clothes from Amazon. What is on the top of my bucket list? Oh, I love that question. Audrey asked me, what is on the top of my bucket list? I would say go to Israel. That's literally the top of my bucket list. Uh, get married, that'd be nice. That'd be a great time. <laughs> um, publish my book, that would be awesome. Publish a book, have kids, adopt kids. I would love to start my own orphanage one day. Okay, so it's another pair of the pants that I ordered earlier that I need to send back because both of them are a little too big. I think I ordered a size too big. Oh, and then some disposable masks. Okay, what is in this massive box? Oh, oh, okay, it's so big. Ow, ow. A lot of people have asked me what my favorite Bible verse is. I always love that question. My favorite Bible verse is Acts 20, 24. It's my life verse. And it says, for I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. I love that Bible verse. It's literally the verse that I live on because it reminds me that this life is not all about me, that I'm a part of something so much bigger than myself and that my only aim and my only focus should be Jesus and everything that has to do with Jesus. So loving people with the love of Jesus, helping people come to know Jesus and living out my calling, my purpose for Jesus. Okay, so this package is from Oh, you know what it is? <laughs> it's a foot massage. Yeah. And you can do heat and it massages you and all the different things. And I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna try it tonight and tell you guys how it goes. I'm very excited. Do I have any pets? I don't have any pets. How do I stay positive? How do I stay positive? Honestly, I think positivity is infectious. I think like if you choose to be positive, that your feelings will follow that. And I think a lot of times we just are positive if we're feeling positive, but the truth is that most of the time you're not gonna be feeling very positive. I don't know if that made any sense. <laughs> Basically, choices lead, feelings follow. If you choose to be positive, your feelings will shortly follow. So I thought we would get into some spicier questions. Spicy. Sophia said, best advice to heal from a breakup. I always said after you break up with someone, when you're going through a breakup or when you're going through a really tough time, what you turn to afterward says a lot about you. And so for me, every time I'm going through a breakup and I am really hurting or I'm really upset, literally just had to go through one like three months ago, two months ago. 
and it was really hard, but I always turned to the Lord and I always turned to God's word and I always turned to good and life-giving people and community. And I always turned to healing and taking that time to really heal, not just jump into another relationship. And I really take that time to make sure that my heart is in a good place, that I face my feelings, that I really confront what I'm feeling, but I don't dwell on them. I think the worst thing you can do is just like run from your feelings and act like they never happened or act like they didn't exist or that you don't really care. Like that used to be my thing for the longest time. I used to act like I didn't care. I'd be like, oh, whatever. Like I'm not hurting, it's fine, that's not a big deal. And I realized that that was not the case, that that is not true, and that I was hurting. I was just like sweeping it under the rug and just pretending that it didn't exist, which only bit me in the butt later when I carried it into the other relationships that I entered into. And so you don't wanna be walking into a relationship with all this baggage starting out. Like you wanna walk into a relationship with a heart that's already full, that's already whole, that's already healthy. And singleness is not a bad thing. Singleness is a gift. Take this time to let your heart heal. Don't jump into anything before you're ready. And just know that is what, what is meant for you will be yours. And if it didn't work out, it's, you know, we're gonna believe that it's because that there's someone better out there for you. I don't know what this is or who this is from. It's a suitcase. <laughs> Wait, that's so fun. I don't really know if this is to me or Janine. It's to me. Yeah. Oh, it's from Discord, I think. You guys know the Discord app? I did like a brand deal with them and I think they sent me some goodies. So Hannah asked, where do I see myself in five years? Hannah, hopefully I'm married, girl. Hopefully I'm married. Hopefully I have like two kids by that time. I would love to write a devotional. I think that would be really cool. Five years, it's so weird. <gasps> five years from now, I'm gonna be 30. Ah! Okay, top three places I wanna travel to. I love this question. Okay, this is from Fun Boy. They sent me some floats and I'm so excited. I like, this is like perfect for summer, like floating down the river, floating on the lake, floating in the pool. So I'm very excited. Oh, hold on. I would love to go to Israel, that's my number one. And then I would love to go to Greece and I would love to go to Paris. I haven't been to either of those places. Okay, how do I get this out? Ah! Austin asked me, what lessons have I learned in this waiting season? But wait, look how cute this is. It's a mega yacht float. It's massive and it weighs a lot. <laughs> I think that one of the biggest things I've learned is what you're waiting on is not as important as who you're becoming in the meantime. So really value that waiting season, whatever that looks like. We're probably all waiting for something and I know waiting is not fun, but really value that time to like just become the best version of yourself that you can be and be someone that you're, you can be proud of. And then also seeing waiting as it's not a no, it's not a closed door and that delays are not always bad. I think sometimes we see reroutes and we see delays as such a bad thing but I think oftentimes they save us from something, a disaster ahead, you know? And I think that that's something that you just have to trust, that you're not where you hope to be because maybe you're not ready for it. So maybe you're in this season because there's something that you need to learn, there's something you need to experience, there's some area you need to grow in. So take this time and really do that and value this waiting season. I think waiting too is active. Like I don't think waiting means like you're hanging out on the sidelines and you're not doing anything. I think you're still putting in effort, you're still putting in work, you're still investing in yourself. And waiting is that time where you're preparing yourself for what's to come. So make sure that you prepare well and make sure you take that waiting season and you really invest in yourself well. Someone asked me, what's the fastest mile you've ever run? I'm pretty sure the fastest mile I ever ran was six minutes and 12 seconds. I did run track, so I ran the 200 and the 400 and then I did the four by four and the four by two. And we were actually really good in track. I have so many championship rings because I won four in basketball and four in track. So we did pretty well. Okay, this is also from Fun Boy and it's more floats, I believe. Oh my gosh, cute. We got a like, pink, pink convertible. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Angel wings. Wait, if I can get it out. These are heavy. I need to work out more. Angel wings. Like, how cute is that? Literally just so many clothes. <laughs> clothes and floats and books. Gotta love it.
These are all my clothes. I cannot wait to wear them. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and watching along with me. I can't wait to try on all my clothes. Maybe next time I'll do like a try on haul after this, but I just thought it'd be really fun just to hang out with you guys. Pretend like you're here. Pretend like we're unboxing these boxes together, but I'm so excited for next Monday to see you guys again. I will miss you guys throughout the week, but be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Let me know what you guys want to see next. If this was fun, if you guys didn't like this, what you want to see, what you want to do. I am just so excited to be on YouTube again and I'm just excited for all the things. So just let me know. Keep me posted what's fun to you guys and what you enjoy watching. And just know that I love you. I believe in you. I believe that you are made for this moment. Don't ever forget it. Love you guys. Help. Why is it still not open?